To satisfy several subs requests, let's play four volley matches with Leo using only two or four cards max and a nylon string in the two or four of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by White Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 if you like this video. So you are seeing the build that I'm using for the first and the last match. The build that I use for the second and the third match is slightly different by one or two cards only. So what some subscribers of Gameplay365 like Harry Krishna, Amin and many others requested was to simply see me playing volley with Leo. And because uh, my Leo is only at level 9, I can't play with him in, in higher tour than tour 4. So let me remind you that the tour 4 is capped at level 9. So level 9 low switch for that tour. So using uh, only nylon string was quite penalizing for me because uh, that means a quicker stamina depletion, of course. And that's why you clearly see low in this uh, match and in the uh, the next ones draining his stamina very fast especially uh, by the second part of all matches while opponents who were using special strings uh, had no problem at all plus those opponents were playing with Kaito like this one who has plenty of natural stamina so it was hard to fight um, by the end of matches, I had to uh, to end points with aces or winners compulsorily. Otherwise, I would be running on empty and overwhelmed by even weak strokes. Here, I was taking the initiative and a dive volley. Has been a while. I didn't play the volley. I I play volley for uh, roughly 400 matches when I started playing Tennis Clash. But it was very long time ago. It was back uh, in November or December 2019 and I have stopped playing things. So I don't have any good reflex anymore. And well, looks like uh, I'm playing a bit more like a, a baseliner trying to volley than uh, playing like a, a real volley player. So let's remind that uh, all top 50 volley players play with Maestro Monty, which is the perfect string for this um, volley style because it has a stamina shield tier 2. And volley players really need this shield. And the Maestro Monty has a quick catch perk, allowing you to catch all balls hitting your body the body of your character, I mean, meaning at point blank range. So that means that if I was equipped with the Maestro Monty string, I would have volleyed back a lot more of shots that just went through me otherwise when I was using the nylon string in the matches shown in this video. Simply by triggering the quick catch ability. So fortunately, some players in this video committed uh, many unforced errors, either on their serve or during the rallies. So some players were apparently not used to play versus volley players anymore. I felt they were under pressure very quickly when I was rushing to the net, and they made some weird shots. Some were trying to pull off lobs without success. And I think the reason is simple. Those opponents don't have many occasions anymore to play versus uh, volley players. After the big update of 7th of May 2020 in lower tours. So they don't practice the lob anymore. That's why when they need the, uh, to lob, they fail doing the adequate swipe. Oh my gosh, it was full smash there. My volley attribute is not very high. I decided to uh, to put points on serve and agility too. And well, that worked here because my opponent was not very accurate, but otherwise um, playing with at least a decent forehand was uh, for me a better, yeah, here 
as you can see, with uh, Maestro Monty, I wouldn't have catch and counter that uh, that stroke. So playing with that um, build reminds me how fragile is the volley style after the big update. You really need to give to your volley build at least one strong hand if you want to exist in lower tours. In higher tours like 2.7 and 2.8, there is not much problem playing with two weak hands because you can counterbalance with a very high agility and a very good volley attribute. But in lower tours, Playing with two weak hands is really penalizing because the volley player becomes then a very easy prey for any baseliner who is not too inaccurate, who doesn't send on shots to the alleys. So here, as you can see, my opponent was applying very perfectly <laughs> the recommendation that I gave to uh, how to counter volley players, which is... Um, hit very strong hands, strong returns towards one of the two corners. Here he was trying to uh, make a cross-court shot, a strong cross-court shot towards the sidelines, but it didn't, didn't work. Three, but uh, with uh, other good strokes, uh, I had problems too, so I didn't have any here because it didn't... Uh, he didn't try to hit the uh, corners much. Here that was good. And yes, that was quite good. This opponent was playing uh, quite good. The, um, using the, the good way to uh, counter volley. That's unfortunate for him that he hit someone for zeros, but otherwise he would have come back quite easily. So for what I have seen after having tried three slightly different volley builds. Well, agility is not the key. Uh, in lower tours, I mean, having more volley points is not so important either. It's rather having a decent hand, like the forehand, which is important. So I recommend you to try to put some points on your forehand so as to win points more easily by the second part of the match when your opponent starts to be tired and will have a hard time catching your winner return on his serve. So I'm saying that f f uh, in case you are playing with the nylon string and you are using a build uh, that has um, a good forehand, which is the case here for this last match. My overall win ratio was 60% um, volleying with Leo in 204, but I won't two matches out of two when I was playing with the build that you are seeing now and that you s you were seeing in the intro, the one that has a 45 forehand points. I didn't try more matches with it, but I wouldn't be surprised that w if it gives a better win ratio than the two uh, other volley builds that I try in the video. So that was funny to see that the opponents who beat me playing with uh, Leo were applying perfectly the tips that I gave on the channel Gameplay 265 Out. about uh, how to counter volley players. I would love to use those tips to, uh, to counter players, countering volley players. But honestly, the build that I, I uh, am using now, and I had used in the other matches in 204, can't allow me to move and to have enough stamina to counter volley if to, to counter, yeah, to, to make the, uh, the counters using the volley efficiently. I think I can counter opponents who try to counter volley using the half strokes towards the corners, the cross court shots, etc. better if I play in a tour 7. So, yeah, I will definitively uh, give volley a try in tour 7 later on. Once I have own cards related to volley at a higher level, like uh, the Zeus racket, uh, the ballistic shoes, the Kodiak wristband, the tactical grip. I will just try for fun, don't worry, I will, I will not stick it to the volley side. But um, yeah, I will try to see if I can really counter the players who, who try to counter volley players using the own recommendations that, uh, you know, that I, uh, I give in, in some videos. Having, I don't know if having this knowledge can help me to anticipate better, you know.
if I, I, I don't know. That will be fun to see. So as you can see here, having some decent forehand was useful <laughs> to end the match there, and that was uh, very lucky. Otherwise, without any stamina left, I wouldn't have been overwhelmed. Here's again the cap conditions and the points when Alcasa cap it. And the lineup and the build. The Eagle, the Cobra, the Hunter, the Marco, Macrobiotic, Endurance. Own cast at uh, um, Common Cast and Tour 4 Max. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me play the Volley Style with Leo in the Tour 4 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by White Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye-bye.